Hello guys, what's going on? My name is Stone and welcome to Accelerate. This is our third episode where we're going to finalize our login function. I'm very excited to join you today and let's get coding. Right, so first of all, if you haven't checked out my first and second videos, descriptions above, please check that out because we're going to build on those files. And without further ado, let's get into coding our login function. So I'm just going to show you guys what we're going to accomplish here today. So once again, if you check my first and second video, this is where we, le we left off last time. And now we're going to add this password um, label and text box here. And remember, we can choose South Africa, the South African guy will pop up, Australian bloke, and as well as the Irish lad here. So what's interesting about this is, let's say we haven't put in anything in the territory and we hit the checkbox. It's going to say, please select the territory. So let's say select the South African territory. Let's say we haven't put in a password. It needs to validate that and say, and it says, please insert a password. Let's put in anything here and check it. Now it needs to check and it says password is not matching. And now let's put in the correct password here. So let's go South Africa. That is the password for this instance. And I'm going to say check. So now it will allow me to open up the spreadsheet here. So it will have the login. And please note guys, this is only the South African tab that's opened here. You can't unhide any tab here. So I'm just going to go back into this. I'm going to don't save this. I'm going to go back into our login function. And you will notice something interesting here as well. So let's say we're going to log in as admin and not as a South African. So we're going to put in admin. And that's the password for this instance as well, admin. And now you will notice all the tabs have been opened here. So now you, the administrator has access to all the tabs in the spreadsheet where we, when we logged in as a South African or Irish fellow or Australian fellow, you will only get that tab. That gives you nice control um, over your spreadsheet. So only the, the South African sales manager will have access to his files and the same goes for the Australian and the Irish as well. And only if you're the administrator or the business owner, you will have access to all the tabs. So this is quite nice coding and I'm really excited to get into it. So I'm going to close this off and I'm going to go back to our picture lookup where we last left off in our second video. So you will notice uh, when we click the button, it only has the options for South African, Australian and Ireland and we don't have any other code corresponding to this. So let's get start coding. All right, so first of all, I'm gonna add a few tabs here. I'm gonna add four tabs. The first one being admin. So I, I press that little plus button and now extra tab. Another tab for our South Africa, South African salesman. And then as well as for Australia. And the last tab will be for Ireland. All right, so let's set the territories and the passwords in our admin spreadsheet. So I'm going to go back to our admin tab. I'm going to go to A1. I'm going to write in territory, tab, password. So this is our headings. And our first entry will be admin. Second entry will be South Africa. Third entry will be Australia and our last entry will be Ireland. So you can just double click on this heading here and it spaces it quite nicely as well. So we're going to highlight A2 to A5. I'm going to hit Control C. I'm going to go to B2 and Control V. That will just copy and paste it and this will be our default passwords. You will be able to change these passwords after you completed this video and it, the code should work exactly the same. So let's just make this look a little bit nicer. I'm just going to go with a nice color here and I'm going to add in my borders here. I'm just going to bold out our first line here. So easy as that for now so the next step will be to uh, name a name range so i'm going to highlight a2 to a5 and in this name box i'm just going to call this zone list this will come into play uh, later on in the video so i'm just going to hit enter so if you're going to highlight 
A2 to A5 again, then you will notice this will change to zone list in the name box here. All right, so for our next step is we need to uh, go into our developer tab here, into the Visual Basic interface. And first of all, I want to go, I want you to go to user form one, which you created in our uh, first and second uh, video here. So I'm just going to shift it down a little bit. I'm just going to left click the button. I'm also going to shift it out nicely. So first of all, we need to insert admin in our combo box. So I'm just going to double click on our user form here. And remember, if the user form initializes, we said what needs to um, be added in. So I added this first line item to show nothing. So now we can populate that to show admin. All right. So and also the second thing is to go to this workbook here. You will see in our uh, VBA project tab here. We can double click on the workbook and we haven't coded anything in here. So I've got a cheat sheet number one for you down in the descriptions below and I'm going to copy and paste it in here as well. So I'm just going to tab out here. I'm just going to go and say in my job, I've got my first cheat sheet here, cheat sheet one. And I'm just going to you can have a screenshot of this as well in the video. And I'm just going to highlight everything. Control C for copy. I'm going to go back into our spreadsheet here. And I'm going to say Control V. So I'm going to just walk you through this uh, piece of code that we copied and pasted into the, this workbook. So what needs to happen when this workbook opens? So first of all, I want all the display alerts to, sh to show false. I don't want any display alerts. I don't want any screen updates until we get working in a spreadsheet. And also, um, WS is just a little shortcut for worksheet. So I, I, I say them uh, WS as worksheet. So you will see WS comes up quite nicely, but I, this is only for shortcut purposes. So in, and we've also got a login screen that needs to show when they log in and all the other sheets needs to be set to very hidden so they can't um, unhide the sheets and lastly we want that user form one that we created to pop up instantly so this is the code uh, for cheat sheet one and uh, once the uh, work workbook opens what needs to happen and this is exactly what needs to happen right second step will be to insert our label so let's go for user form one now, you, you look, we created this little label in our second um, episode, so I'm just going to control C and I'm going to I'm going to left click the label control C and I'm going to click on the user form and control V. So that creates a second label for us, uh, exactly the same as the first one, but we're going to change the caption here in our caption line item to read password. We want the user uh, we need enter. We want our user to enter. A password here. Next step is to insert a text box. So you will see in our tool box here in the ribbon, there's a toolbox. We're going to put in a text box, our third option here. So it's going to drag it out like that. And then because this is a password field, we don't want any user to be able to see what we're typing in here. We want to shade it into a asterisk. So let's go, you left click on the text box, left click, and then if you go down and you will see there's a password character. You can click on this line item and you say shift eight to put in that asterisk little sign there. So if a user puts any data in this text box, it will come up as an asterisk. Right, awesome. Next step is to program our little X button here. So our X button, if you double click on this, you remember it will generate the weird code up above. We're going to highlight and we're going to delete that. Remember what we did last time is if we click that image, what needs to happen? Uh, we said combo box value needs to go back to uh, null and the user form one needs to hide. 
but we're going to take away this code. What we need to happen is if somebody that doesn't have any uh, uh, credentials to log into our spreadsheet, we want we don't want to give them any access whatsoever. So we're going to go with the ultimate code to close a, a, this application. We're going to say application dot oh, sorry application dot quit. So what this does is if they hit that X button, the whole Excel uh, spreadsheet will close down. All right, and that's exactly what we need to happen if people don't have the correct credentials. All right, so we're gonna, uh, next step is to insert a image in our user form. So what we can do is we can left click this image. Remember this is image four. So we can left click on the image, control C, click somewhere on the user form, control V. That will create a duplicate of that image and this will take it to image five. All right, guys. So now I'm gonna change this image to show the check button. So we're gonna to go to picture line item here and I'm gonna to go to my, click on the ellipse button and I'm gonna to go to our preloaded uh, images here. Oh, there it is. Now let's go pick some icons and there's our check button and you'll see it changes that to the check button but it doesn't have any code yet so what we can do is we can double click on this button and remember it will give us this uh, strange code once again and we're going to highlight this line here we're going to hit delete and we're going to say click so what needs to happen if image 5 is clicked so now i've got cheat sheet number two for you down in the descriptions below i'm going to quickly open that for us so i've got cheat sheets two so this is quite a mouthful of code i'm going to walk you through i just want to go slowly through this just if you want to make screenshots on this video so i'm just going to give you some time take a screenshot I'm going to go back and that's all for this code so i'm going to highlight everything I'm going to hit Control C and then go back to our coding here. And remember, our, we've got image click five here. You can highlight everything here like that. And I'm going to hit Control V, which will copy all the code in from my cheat sheet that I left for you in the descriptions below. So I'm just going to walk you through this code that we uh, copied and pasted. So it's if and then statements. So if the user form one combo box um, one value equals not, then it needs to give us a message box that says please insert or please select a territory because obviously a territory hasn't been selected from the combo box. All right. Next step is from the text box. If we haven't put anything in the text box, it needs to give us a message box saying please insert a password. All right. And then going forward is if user form one combo box value, a value is admin and the text box equals whatever the password we set in the admin sheet range B2. Remember we put in admin as the territory as well as the password was admin. So if it is true then I say unload me. So that means the Excel spreadsheet will unload all the spread, uh, all the tabs and the administrator have access to the spreadsheet now. So this is quite a useful two line item code here which is quite powerful in Excel. So now also um, remember that shortcut WS as worksheet comes to play here as well as a shortcut. And then the next step will be to say if password is more or less than what the text box value is, then the message says password is not matching. So it's not if it's not an exact match, then the message box will prompt and say password is not matching. All right. And if the password is matching, then it will do a little lookup here to, to uh, see if it's a South African and compare that to that password. And it will only open up for, for you the South African tab. The same with the Australian. If it's an Australian password and Australian territory, it matches it. And then it opens up the Australian tab 
and exactly the same with the Irish lad as well. So it is a mouthful, but this is quite short code for quite powerful stuff in the background. All right, so the last step will be to uh, uh, disable the X button. So we don't want the guys that opens up the spreadsheet to be able to use that little X button in the corner as well. So we're going to program that as well. So luckily for you, I've got cheat sheet number three down in the descriptions below and we're going to go through that as well. So I'm going to open up my cheat sheet number three. Short piece of code. I'm just going to copy everything. Highlight everything. Control C. And then you can go down below to the code here. You can just hit enter twice and control V. So this is quite interesting. So I'm just going to click this. So it's a query close uh, line item what we're going to do here. So I just put in here a little code here or a little uh, message. It doesn't have any code or workings. If you put a little ellipse here or a little uh, symbol here, it will highlight it green. And it's just a message for the code. It, this prevents use of the close button so if the close button in the vb equals vb form control menu then message bar clicking the close button does not work and the cancel goes to true so this little piece of code disables that x button in our user form quite nice uh, as well so we covered all our bases security wise so let's see if our code works i'm just gonna hit the save here i'm gonna close it I'm going to save once again here and I'm going to close. So if I go back to our picture lookup Excel spreadsheet, so let's see what happens. Ah, so you see the Excel spreadsheet opens up. There's no tabs available to click. You can't click on anything here. You can't go to the developer. You can't hit uh, uh, Control F11 to go to the coding sheets you can't do anything and if you're going to click that little x button you can move the user form though but this still doesn't give you access to anything in the worksheet so if you press the x button it says clicking the close button does not work and if we don't put anything in we check the mark here please select the territory so you would click on the drop down list let's choose south africa and we're just going to say check. It needs to say please insert a password because we haven't inserted any password here. Let's put in anything. One, two, three. And I'm going to check it. It says password is not matching. Remember that little code in the background. This tries to match a territory with our password in the background. I'm just going to hit OK. So the password is South Africa. South with a, a capital S space. Capital A, Africa. I'm going to hit the check button. And lo and behold, our code works. Only the login page is available if you go into the login tab and the South African tab. If we right click and we try to unhide the Australian and the Irish and the admin tabs, there's no such uh, device that we can use because the unhide is grayed out here as well because of our code in the background. I'm going to close this. I'm not going to save this. And I'm going to go back into it just to test if our admin works as well. So the same should happen. We go to admin and our password is admin, capital A, admin, go. And now you see all the tabs in the spreadsheet is open. Just like we programmed it to do. Guys, this was quite nice, quite informative, I hope. So guys, if you can get 100 likes on this, I'm going to leave you my files down below with all the cheat sheets from my first and second video as well. And uh, hit that subscribe, hit that like, leave me a comment. I will definitely get back to you. And uh, in my next video, we're going to um, look into uh, waterfall graphs, quite exciting stuff as well. So I'm going to look at the old school method of creating a waterfall graph as well as the new school method. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in from me, Stone, and from Accelerate. Cheers.